Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. But let's crack on with today's first story. And today we're covering a story that's titled that has a new update. Um, it's not one that I can remember, but if you have heard parts of it elsewhere, always feel free to skip parts of the story. Timestamps are down in the description and along the timeline below. And before we do get into it, the story does contain sex shaming and religious bigotry. It's from Throwaway Miss J who says, Am I the arsehole for breaking up my engagement because what my fiance said about my mum? I, 26 female, am not from the USA, so I might have some grammatical errors. So my dad left my mum when I was only five years old. I also have a brother, 21 male. He left the country with his mistress and never tried to contact. We were really poor. My mum had to do some immoral stuff to get food on the table. She was a stripper and also sometimes pleased men to get money for us. She put me and my brother through school. I understood why my mum did what she did because we had no money and she wanted us to have a better life than ours. And I am not ashamed because of it. I also started working part-time when I was 14. I was a good student so I got a scholarship to a good university. My mum eventually stopped stripping when my brother got a part-time job also. She now only works as a waitress. I met my fiancé, Javi, 27 male, in college. This was my first serious relationship. We both loved each other. I never told Javi about my mum's past because my mum made me promise to never say that to anyone. I kept to that, but it felt so wrong to keep this huge information away from my fiancé. Javi knew about us. He only knew my family was extremely poor. He doesn't care about that. He's a very sweet guy who always takes care of me. He even covered some of the costs of my brother's education as well, even though I told him not to. My mum also likes him. That's why she told me not to tell Javi anything about her past or what she did for a living. So a week ago, my mum and I went to Javi's house to meet his parents. I didn't realize his uncle and aunt would also be there. Upon seeing his uncle, my mum's face went white as if she saw a ghost. His uncle also kept staring at my mum as if he knows her. My mum felt uncomfortable and said that she wants to go home. Javi was confused by it, but nonetheless, we left earlier than we anticipated. The next day, my fiancé came to our place and shouted at me that I lied to him. He said that I am a gold digger just like my mother, and my mother is the reason why his uncle's first marriage broke. I asked him to explain what the hell he is talking about. He said that his uncle knew my mum because he was a regular customer of hers and often hired her for services. His wife caught them red-handed and immediately filed for divorce. My mum was crying and said that she didn't know he was married. She never asks men about their marital status. I told him he has no right to speak to my mum like that and his uncle was fully to blame because he was a married man who was hiring escorts for himself. My mum has no obligation towards his marriage. Javi still blamed me and my mum and said that he felt deceived. He said to my face that he doesn't want to date a whore's daughter because I will probably invite men just like my mum. My mum had to beg him to not break the engagement. I am tired. If I do end up marrying him, my mum would always have to suffer because of it. I don't want that, so I gave him back his engagement ring and told him to never show his face. My mum is angry because she thinks this is my only chance to get married because no other guy would marry into a family where my mum works as a sex worker. But I think I did the right thing because I am not ashamed of my mum. I didn't even want to hide it in the first place. I wanted to tell him the truth, but my mum refused it. So, am I the arsehole? Edit. I need to clear things out a bit. Avi knows everything about my life. He knows my dad fled the country and we have to live in poverty because of it. He knows my mum got pregnant way too young. I did give him hints that my mum had to do shady things to get by. He probably thought that my mum stole things, but I didn't disclose that she was a sex worker. I wanted to tell him, but my mum said not to because she doesn't want this to escalate. Also, I never asked Javi to pay for my brother's education. He did it from the goodwill of his heart. I did promise to pay him back. I'm not after his money. I do love him a lot. Even though we are broken up now, I still miss him. We've been together for six years. It is not easy to throw away those six years just like that. Now, I'm not sure what kind of hoops that this man has jumped through to get to the conclusion that this is your mum's fault when he's the one who went behind his wife's back and, and hired a sex worker 
And I can only think the way he spoke to you, the way he referred to like a whore's daughter, that you're dodging a major bullet here. But Eggplant original says not the asshole, but boy, your ex sure is. You dodged a bullet getting rid of him. You'll find the right person for you. Give your mum a hug and be happy you aren't marrying into that awful family. Opie says, I know that and I understand why he's upset. Sex work is heavily criticized in my country to the point even doctors refuses to treat them. I understand his family's stigma, especially his uncle was caught with my mum, so they have a reason to hate her. I hope that he would be a little bit understanding about our situation. If my mum didn't start working as a stripper, she would have never been able to send us to school or college. I did love him a lot. Parrot Girl says, if a man on a diet walks into a donut shop and orders a dozen donuts, who broke the diet, the man or the donut seller? His uncle went to her. His uncle who knew about his wife. His uncle who also outed her to your fiance, who was too thick in the head to stop and say, wait, why does uncle know that? Not the asshole. you'll find someone who understands and will appreciate the sacrifice your mother made to keep you and your brother alive. OP says, Avi knows what his uncle did. His uncle had sex addiction, so he hired mum often. I'm sure my mum is not the only escort he hired. There were many, but I don't think my mum should be blamed for his uncle's mistake. She's required to give services to anyone who hires her. Technical Pumpkin says your mother sacrificed herself to survive and take care of her children. If your now ex can't understand that, have no compassion for the woman he knows, and after learning what really happened, decided to blame her for the attitude of his disgusting uncle, then he is not a real man. Your mother is a queen and she shouldn't be ashamed of that because your genital put her through and forced to give up her own happiness in the corner to take care of her children. Now this ex rather asking you questions and wanting to know your side of the story decides to take the side of his family and condemn you automatically. Even worse, he proclaimed fault accusations and insults you and your mother. He shows no heart or intelligence, just his true face, so believe him. Your mother is scared for you, but this guy is not the one for you and he proved it. You deserve someone who will respect, care, understand and love and have a heart for those who suffer and don't judge so easily others' lives. Now encourage your mother to go on therapy to not let her past put a shadow on her present and future. When she will be in the process of healing, she should share her story because I can tell you how many women need to see a woman's or mother's strength in adversity. Writing her experience and tell her story will be a slap in the face of all the pain and suffering. P.S. You have the world to find the right man for you. So if where you are, they don't treat you correctly, they don't treat you like a human being who's trying to survive, I'm sure you can find someone else. Someone says to OP, can you and your mum go to therapy? OP says, it is hard to find a good therapist around our area. Yes, I have money now, but my mum doesn't want to disclose her past because in the past she was denied care because of her profession. Some more information about the uncle and says, everyone knows what the uncle did. I did not have to broadcast it. His uncle was a regular client of my mum. She knew him because he would often hire her and also because his wife slapped and beat her when she found her in his uncle's house. Some people decided to shame her mum for sleeping with married men as an escort. And Opie says, first of all, it is none of my mum's business to tell those men to stop hiring escorts. Do you know that more than half the men who hire these sex workers are actually married? Are you really telling me that my mum is an asshole for not turning down 50% of those men? Do you know what that means? It means losing 50% of her income. Do you know what it's like to lose 50% of your income? If she refused those services, then she would have never been able to keep a roof. Secondly, it's their marriage. My mom is just a service working who provides her services to men who hire her. It's none of her job or business to snoop or tell those men not to cheat. It's that man's ugly character that cheats on his wife with an escort. By your logic, a waitress shouldn't serve a married man food because only his wife gets to serve him food and no one else. Listen, my mom was a sex worker. It was her job to offer services to anyone who was willing to pay. Even if she refused to do that, you think that man who wanted an escort would stop? No, someone else would take that offer. It is not her responsibility to save a marriage that is already broken. She is a sex worker, not a marriage counselor. What she does is business. The man himself doesn't care about his marriage, then why should my mum, who is not romantically involved with any of them, you offered your judgments, it is fine. But I must say your judgments are rather poor because you are blaming a poor woman who only did what she did to put food on our plate. Would you rather she lose more than 50% of her income than care about some random man's marriage that the man himself doesn't care? It's not my mum's job to provide loyalty. 
and is 100% on the man who hired an escort in the first place. 10 days later, OP gives an update and says, Hi everyone, I wanted to say thank you so much for your support. I never thought I would get so much support from strangers than people from my own community. I was however expecting a lot of hate towards my mum considering her profession, but it is less than what I expected. I don't know if this qualifies as a proper update, but there have been a few changes. After I broke the engagement, I've been getting calls from my friends and Javi's family that I am making a huge mistake. My close friends know that my mum used to be a sex worker, but mutual friends of mine and Javi does not know about it. So they are also questioning me if I ever did that. Javi did apologize. He said he got carried away by his emotions and he loves me. Not gonna lie, I love him too. I wanted to get past all of this. I know people have told me that I should not get married to this guy, but I was weak for a moment until he told me that he is willing to let things go and start anew if my mum does not attend any wedding functions. I was shocked. Weddings are a big deal in our culture. There are many functions and parties surrounding the wedding. How can I ask that I do not involve my mum? He told me that because of my mum's past, it would be difficult for his family members to be around her. He convinced his mum with difficulty about this engagement. Also, since his uncle is going to be there, it will only remind him of bad things. At that moment, I realized that I was never a consideration. It was always him and making his family happy. My family is beneath them because we are not from a respectable background and come from homes of sex workers. I stood firm and told him, no, this is not going to happen. I will not give in to their demands because the way I see it, my mum did not do anything wrong. It is funny how quickly people will judge a woman based on her work. That she had to do to feed her kids, but no one will come forward to help her in a time of need. Avi threatened that I am making a huge mistake by letting him go. I just left. I do not have the energy to deal with it. I think this news is spreading like wildfire now. I may have to move out of the city because if this news reaches to my workplace, I know damn well people will ostracize me. So I might look for a job in a different area. Lastly, I messaged him saying I am sorry for not telling him earlier about my mum, but I loved him a lot. I'm sad that he chose this topic to ruin a six-year-old relationship. I will be going to the bank and pay back the money he paid for my brother's education. I'm still crying and jilted to say the least. Also, I saw that my post was shared in different religious groups bashing my mum, saying that I deserved it. Well, let me tell you religious fanatics that most men who claim to be religious are not at all. My mum had many clients who claimed to be religious, including pastors and preachers. So please, before blaming my mum, look inside your house and your family. You might find chameleons hiding within your family too. Edit. People who are asking why I'm paying him back is because I don't want him to use it as an excuse to call me a gold digger who used him for his money. I don't want to be in his debt. Someone says to OP on this one, they said, can you just move somewhere else where people don't care? OP says, thanks. I'm encouraging my brother to apply for his master's abroad. Even if I miss the window, he would be out of here. He won't have to face the scrutiny. And no, sex work is legal here, but very much frowned upon, especially in our town. Someone says to OP, you made the right choice and someone else will be out there. OP says thanks, but I wonder if anyone would ever be accepting of my life. Because if they do, they might have to face insults and ridicule from the society. Who wants that? I just know, even if it hurts, I cannot be with someone who was so disrespectful towards my family. Three and a half months later, OP comes in with another update and says, Hello, I don't know if you guys remember me, but I posted here like three months ago. I'm so happy for your support and all the awards you guys have given me. I wasn't supposed to come back now, but I think I needed to make an update on this. But first, I need to make a summary just in case you forgot. So basically, my ex-fiance disrespected my mother because she used to be a sex worker. And she did sex work because my sperm donor cheated on her and left her with his mistress to a different country. My ex-fiance was mad at me and my mum because his uncle used to be my mum's client. And it's one of the reasons why his aunt divorced him. Long story short... I broke up with him. Now to the real update. As suspected, the news of my mum's old profession did spread like wildfire. Some of mine and Javi's friends literally cut me off because they don't want to deal with a sex worker's blood. I guess it is for the best because it shows they are not my real friends. My real friends stuck with me. This impacted my brother a lot. I know living here would make things difficult. My brother will be graduating soon. I advised him to look for masters in a foreign country like in the USA, Canada or UK. Because of this whole fiasco, I, along with my mum, moved to a new city. I took a transfer from my work. My boss, bless her heart, is the most amazing human being. 
She literally defended me. She told my co-workers not to bother me about anything other than work. My personal life shouldn't be any of their business. She has been so supportive of me and my family. She never questioned me or judged me. She transferred me to a different city on my request and even managed to find an apartment for me and my mum. She is like Michael Scott, but mature. <laughs> that is the only positive outcome from this. As for my ex, he is seeing another girl his parents set him up with. But he did call the first two months just to get me back. I had moments of weakness because I loved him so much, but the vile things he said about me and my family just played like a recorder. I'm still trying to heal from everything. I just hope I can get my brother out of this hellhole into a better place. People here are fucking hypocrites and backdated. Nobody wants to change. Even people my age are so conservative. There has also been another bomb that's dropped on us. That is my piece of shit sperm donor found me on Facebook and messaged me to meet. I don't know what the hell does he think that I'm going to forget those 20 years we struggled because he was a coward. Selfish. Snake. Thanks for listening. The absolute cheeky bastard came back into it and said, you, you know, your mum, if we get back together, your mum can't come to the wedding. It just showed you what their future would have been like if if they would have continued. You know, the mum would have been completely ousted from the family and most likely properly cut off in the future. Not that OP would have done that by the sounds of it. I'm, I'm glad that they did stick up for their mum all the way through this. But now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from the Am I the Arsehole subreddit from Real I 1219 and says, Am I the Arsehole for refusing to let my stepdad pay for my wedding? I, 27 female, am engaged to my fiance, Raf. Raf and I are paying for our wedding ourselves. That was something we planned on doing, and we have saved for a number of years to afford a nice wedding. Ever since my dad died when I was six, I knew in the future if I got married, his dad, my granddad, would be walking me down the aisle and dancing with me in dad's place. Honestly, I think even if dad was alive, I'd have both of them because granddad and I always had a special relationship. When I played weddings as a kid, I used to have both of them walk me down the aisle. Lol. I was upfront about asking granddad to my mum and stepdad. They didn't take the news great. My stepdad wanted to be the one who performed as a father of the bride and he told me as much. He didn't like that I was giving him and my mum focus as a couple, but not him as my dad. And he said this because I arranged for a special dance for the two of them as well as a special toast to the two of them during the wedding. He said after being in my life since I was seven, when I met him, and being my stepdad since I was nine, when he and my mum got married officially, he feels he is more deserving of the role. I told him I understood he was upset, but I had made my decision. He said it was childish to keep to a decision I made as a baby and never open myself up to alternatives. When I didn't give in, they got a little huffy and I decided to leave to give them some space. And my stepdad came to me and said I should let him pay for the wedding. This came out of nowhere honestly, but I knew instantly what he was trying to do. I knew that if I took his money, I wouldn't be able to say no to him. It would be entitled as hell to let him pay but not give him the role he wants and the jobs he wants to do. It also wouldn't have felt right to me anyway because I never want him for anything. So it would have felt like I was taking advantage and he's never going to be my dad. He can't buy that from me, so I stuck to my convictions and I said, thanks for offering, but we are good. We have the money. He went on a long rant about how traditionally the father of the bride always pays for the wedding and how tradition is important. And he said it was bad luck to pay for your own wedding. I told him we were a more modern couple and had chosen to pay for our own wedding with no financial contributions from anyone. He was angry and he left. Ever since, he and my mum said I disrespected him immensely by denying him the right to pay. My mum brought up how he comes from a very traditional and conservative family and that it is shameful for him to not be paying for everything. She told me he had been looking forward to paying for my special day and I threw his more than generous offer in his face. My stepdad told me I had ruined the whole wedding for him now. Also, I don't want both granddad and stepdad to do the walk slash dance. Am I the asshole? My question to him would be, why is this only now come up? Why is it only now he's decided to pay for it? I mean, the wedding must have been planned long ago and now suddenly he's done this when you're not allowing him to get what he wants. So clearly he's just paying for it to, to give you some sort of conditions and absolutely not the asshole for not accepting that. And I did chuckle to myself when it said at the end that my stepdad told me I had ruined the whole wedding for him now. Like it's all about him. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. 
And then 99 says, my stepdad told me I'd ruin the whole wedding for him now. And this is how ridiculous is it to say something like this to the bride? OP, you should make them be ashamed of themselves for trying to manipulate you financially. Your stepdad a role. Since they care so much about paying, they should be okay with you still walking with your granddad, shouldn't they? Not the arsehole. Darbyshire Lass says, If he is so traditional and it's traditional for Bry's dad to pay for the wedding, how come he only remembered that bit once he realized it was the only play he might have left to get his own way? Not the arsehole. Quinn Good says, Not the arsehole. You told mum and stepdad what your plans were. Stepdad thought that he could pull out his magic checkbook and take control of your wedding. When he figured out you weren't going along with his thinly disguised plan, he threw a tantrum that you were ruining the wedding for him. By the way, it's not about him. If he hadn't acted like such a brat, he might have been inclined to figure out a way to honor his contribution to your life. His behavior has made that impossible. I hope you have a wonderful wedding and happy marriage. Hugs and good luck. And most of the comments were pretty much along those lines. I don't think I saw a you're the arsehole in there, but what do you guys make of this situation? What would you say to stepdad in it? It's still going to make an awkward wedding, isn't it? If he's going to be acting like this. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care. And much love. Wake up, get up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay. I know that today'll be a good day. Yeah, yeah. A, B, C, one, two, 